Hi, what's up everybody? This is La Modelis and welcome back again to my YouTube channel. For today's video, I am going to recreate the balloon or puff sleeves by Jacquemus. This puff or balloon sleeve is the biggest one I've seen on the runway lately and I wanted to recreate it in a smaller size. I am a big fan of Jacquemus and his design thinking and this design for the sleeve is by far my favorite from his designs. So get your materials ready and let's recreate the puff or balloon sleeve. To start off, trace the basic sleeve slopper on your paper until the elbow line. From the side seam and inseam, decrease by 4 eighths of an inch and 2 eighths of an inch respectively. From the bicep line, mark down 4 inches. This is for the sleeve length. And square a line. From the inseam at hemline, mark out 1 inch both sides. From these marks, square diagonal lines. And cut out this pattern from your paper. Next, copy this pattern on another piece of paper for the shell. From the bicep line, divide equally making 8 strips or panels. From these marks, square multiple cut lines. And cut out the strips and set these patterns aside. On a new pattern paper, draw a perpendicular line. From the vertical line, square out 1 inch lines each side. Place strips 4 and 5 directly onto the lines and this will be the new center line. Next, continue on spreading the remaining strips by 2 inches or 5 centimeters. At center line on the sleeve cap, mark up 4 inches or 10 centimeters. From this mark, redraw the sleeve cap going to strips 1 and 8. And here is the shell pattern with 4 eighths of an inch of sewing allowance. Next, cut two pieces for the sleeve lining. And mark the important notches. For the shell, 
cut out one piece and mark important notches. And start gathering from notch 1 going to notch 8. Do the same procedure for the hem. Connect the gathered shell to the lining right side to right side. And sew the hem by 4 eighths of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Next, send all the seam towards the lining side and top stitch. Next, sew the inseam. Sew the inseam by 4 eighths of an inch or 1.3 centimeters. Next, press the seam open for a clean finish. And match the inseam wrong side to wrong side and pin in place. Do the same procedure for the sleeve gaps. Next, attach the armholes together. And we're done with the first iteration of the sleeve. This first iteration is the gathered version of puff or balloon sleeve. Let's move on to the second iteration. For the next sleeve, mark the spread lines at the hem for pleating references. And cut out from your fabric. For the hem, let's try and pleat to see if there's a difference from the first sleeve. For the sleeve cap of the shell, let's gather this instead of pleating. After gathering and pleating, connect the shell to the lining right side to right side. After that, send or push the seam towards the lining side and top stitch. And sew the inseam. Press the seam for a clean finish. And again, match the inseam together wrong side to wrong side. And do the same procedure for the sleeve gap. And sew the armholes of both shell and lining together. Uh, 
voila! So this is my mock-up for the puff or balloon sleeve. This is the first iteration. And this is the second iteration. The second iteration is a bit flat and it did not give me the volume that I wanted. The first iteration, on the other hand, has the puffy volume that I wanted to achieve. It's not so big and not so small, just the right amount of gathers. For me, I'd go for the first one since it gave me the puffiness that I wanted for this sleeve. And what about you guys? Comment down below, which one do you prefer? Anyway guys, comment down below if you have any questions and I'll make it sure to answer as quickly as possible. I hope this tutorial gave you enough tips on how to create puff or balloon sleeves. And do not forget to give this video a huge thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel La Modelis and I will see you guys again on the next tutorial. A bientôt!